Hello everyone, my name is Achonga Peter. I welcome you to this learning platform. It has been a while since you left. Please stay safe, we still need you alive. Uh, in this platform, uh, we have a number of things that we are going to. I'm going to take through science lessons. Let us begin with our spelling exercise. The first word is electrical. Second word, electromagnet. Third word is induction. Next is demagnetization. Lastly, we have trypanosome. So my dear learners, let us cross-check our spellings. That was our first word. Electrical. Second word, electromagnet. Induction. Demagnetization. And lastly, we had trypanosome. So in this, we are going to learn about magnetism. Let's first get to know the meaning of some of the new words that we are likely to meet. The first word is magnetism. Magnetism is the property of a magnet which enables it to attract magnetic substances or is the ability of a magnet to attract magnetic substances. Magnetism is a force. Second word is magnet. A magnet is a piece of metal that attracts magnetic substances or materials. We can also define a magnet as a material that has the ability to attract magnetic substances. Magnets have two ends. They have two ends called poles, where magnetic strength is stronger. One end is called North Pole, and the other is called South Pole. Magnetic field is the region around a magnet where its magnetic forces act. In other words, we can say magnetic field is the region around a magnet in which magnetic strength is felt. Magnetization is a process of making a magnetic material gain magnetism. Magnetic lines of force are lines around a magnet through which magnetism flow. So having learned those words, let us now go to meaning of these words. Magnetic materials. These are materials that can be attracted by a magnet. We know that magnets are made from specific metals and examples of magnetic materials include iron. Most of the magnets that we have 
are made of iron. We have nickel, steel, alnico, chromium, and cobalt. Those materials can be attracted by a magnet, and that's why we call them magnetic materials. So we also have materials which cannot be attracted by a magnet. Those materials are non-magnetic substances or non-magnetic materials. Examples are wood. We have plastics, lead, glass, cloth, copper, paper, aluminium, brass, silver, and gold. Among the non-magnetic substances, we have seen that we also have metals. So not all metals are magnetic. So I want to end here, here and try this assignment. So in case of any difficulty, please respond to this site. Thank you.